So. No! <laughs> no! Oh god, I'm dead. God dang it. What a pulse. Try and confuse him. Not very effective. Spore? What does Spore do? Bleh. I fell asleep. Use Leech Life. Could have just used Leech Life straight away. Whoa! Is Water Waddle just tanky? Or is that just me? Like, my Pikachu is almost useless. He can't, he's not faster than anything I go up against. Nor is he... Ooh, what can I do? Fury Sops! He's not fast enough to defeat, like, to outpace them. Nor can he take any hit from anyone. Well, from any gym leader, that's it. That is. Are you kidding me? Poison powder? Go away! No! Really? Primate? God. I'm gonna lose because my primate won't listen to me! Uh, come on! Do something! Please! Yes! No! <laughs> I beat Koga and I'm gonna lose to a level 30 Parasect. There's no way around this. No! I should have kept him as a manky, at least he listens! No! I'm gonna lose because he's an idiot! Ugh. At least I healed in Vermilion. That's all I'm gonna say. At least I healed in Vermilion. Yes, yes. Well, <laughs> I lost to a Parasect, and now I found out that. Uh... Ah. Thinking. Take. And you remember what I caught in the Diglett Cave? Guess what it was! <laughs> it's like, what did I catch in the Diglett Cave? You were wrong, it was a Diglett! Oh, I can breed him! It was a. F Wait. It's a female primate? But okay. Apparently it was a female primate that Ash caught in the anime. And the Diglett knows Dig instantly. Alright, cool. Coolios. So. I'm gonna put Pikachu... No, I'm gonna keep Ivysaur. Ivysaur's gonna stay out until he becomes a Venusaur. And then I'm going to switch for Pikachu. Because Venusaur is awesome. Actually. I should really put Wartortle out the front. Yeah. And. Take the lucky egg. And give it to Wartortle. Yeah. That's the way to do it. What's up, bruh? When I camp out in the woods, I bring my Pokemon to protect me. So your Pokemon are bodyguards? Is that what you're saying? 
Tampa Desi. Sent out Ekans. Alright, Intimidate. Uh, let's go Water Pulse, see how much that does. Whee! Half health. Water Pulse again. Oh, almost. Uh-oh. Don't you dare poison me. Thank you. Yay! I want to get War Turtle up. To a level where... Fear, yeah. I'm going to switch out Pikachu. I want to get War Turtle up to a level where he can take on Blaine. I am not going to use Charizard, because that is kind of idiotic. I mean, I don't know why Ash used a Charizard in the anime. It's a fire type against a fire type. Like, what the heck? What? Come on. Darn it! Okay. I want to actually check. So, summary. War Turtle has 71 health. Pikachu at 65, 91, 78. So, Pikachu has like, okay. Like, he's got okay... Well, he's four levels below Pikachu. He's three levels higher. He's the same level. So, 78 versus 65. So, it's about 8... So, 13 HP. And he's... Oh. 34 out of 34 defense. That is bad. Like, horrible. No wonder Pikachu kept dying. Did my emulator just skip? Okay. Uh... Alright, what I want to do is go up. Go past this dude again. And go up higher. No. And go through here. What the hell is this place? <gasps> it's the ranch! You little sidewinder! Please send out the ponytail against me. Pokemon, bring your Lara! No, Growlithe. Level 31 Growlithe. Another Intimidate! That's the one thing I didn't have to worry about in Gen 1. All these abilities that I have to keep track of. Like Ekans and Growlithe having Intimidate. It's so annoying. <laughs> Let's bubble him to death! Nice! Nice way, Diglett. He's good! Oh, he good! Don't tell me you don't know this whole area is a Pokemon reserve. It's against a lot of catch Pokemon here. Have you ever heard of the Big P Pokemon Ranch? Owned by the Laramie family? This, this is the Big P Ranch and I am Lara Laramie. We're here having a, we're having a big race tomorrow to see who has the best Pokemans. And I'm entering my ponytail. Oop. Howdy, Lara! I'm gonna win the Pokemon race tomorrow. Just get ready to lose, Lara. You son of a bitch. Ah, my arm was injured when Ponyta was spooked by Dario. With my arm hurt, I, uh, I won't be able to enter the race with Ponyta. What will I do? Ponyta seems really spooked. Would you like to try and calm him down? Yes. Ash, it seems like Ponyta trusts you. Maybe you could enter the race for me and ride Ponyta for me. Please give it a try. I'll be waiting for you inside the ranch. Pick. 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 What's up? So, Ash, you ready to enter the big Pokemon race with Ponyta? All right, Ash, good luck. All right, this is new. Uh, ready? Go. Shit. Ha! Oh no! No! 
Okay. No, I'm behind! Okay, this is this is actually a really good mechanic. I like this. Dang it, he won! Shit. Meow. Okay, I'm actually- <laughs> She stepped sideways again. Okay, here we go. Okay, ready? Okay, so what happens is- Oh, he gets a head start, damn it. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Haha, I'm ahead of you! As long as I keep on this path, I'm gonna win. Beow! Sucker! What an incredible upset! Ash and Pony to win this Pokemon Challenge! Congratulations! You are this year's Pokemon Challenge Champion! Let's give a big hand for its, tra its trainer, Lara Laramie! And for winner of Rider, Ash! Woo! I've been slowly being progressing in this game was going to do a let's play for my YouTube but did liquid crystal instead yeah this game is actually pretty interesting oh quick claw nice I actually got um, asked to do this by um, one of my viewers one of one of the people who follow my channel my opponent is out here cool and I didn't, I didn't even know what it was before I even got here. Like, before I even started playing it, so... It's actually really nice, I like it. What's up? Five years ago, we lost our boy Tommy. Oh no, Tommy! Please help me find my baby boy. Dang it! Oh! I kind of want it. I've heard this follows the anime super closely. I've gone to Vermilion City, I think. And it's so far, it's pretty close. It actually has a lot of, um... A lot of the anime things. You don't have to do certain things in the anime, um, to canon, like in order. For instance, when I got to sell it on City... Spoiler alert, by the way. Um... As soon as I got to sell it on City... Um, I could do the Hypno episode, and I could do the, uh, the Salon episodes, like the Pokemon Breeding Salon episode, before I even did the gym, because the gym was really hard. And, like, you can catch nearly every Pokemon that Ash does in the anime. And also... You can actually get rid of your, um, your, you can, well, get rid of, air quotes. You can, um, let your Butterfree go bye-bye. And it was so cute. I know the events, like, releasing Butterfree and Samurai were pretty close to the anime. And that race looked fantastic. It's actually a really good, the race... Wait, what? It can't be... Oh yeah, I'm in the reserve. Doi. Um... Hopefully the, they continue to update for future generations. Yeah, I actually really want these guys to keep going. Like, that'd be really cool to have, like, the fan-made... What the? Uh, it'd be really ha awesome to have the fan-made Pokemon games to each generation go to the actual anime. I really want Johto, <laughs> yeah. I can't remember what actually happens in Johto. Um, because I watched, when I was a kid, I watched the first season way too many times. Like, too many times to count. Wait, why am I back in Future City? Um, but yeah, I've watched it so many times that I know most of this and it's really nostalgic. Wait. Is there no Pokemon Center? Uh-oh. Roll, roll. But yeah, I'm, I'm 25 currently re-watching re it. Yeah. I actually, um... Morn and Rattlesnake. 
Um, yeah, I'm 20. I'm I'm actually the same age. Um, but yeah, I really want to rewatch. Um, rewatch all the seasons again when I get the time. Gen 1 is... Rest house. <gasps> Can I actually rest my Pokemon here? So it's not constantly blaring? No. Oh, it was my War Turtle. Meh. But yeah, I... I actually found out Netflix has the first 52 episodes of Indigo League. You can actually go to the Pokemon, I think the Pokemon website, and it has every season up there. But I had to download the rest of it, yeah. You legally acquired them. Um, but you can actually watch, watch all the episodes, I think, on, um, on the Pokemon website. I think it's a Pokemon website? I can't remember where it actually was. Um, but you can actually just go on to the website and go, go watch it. It doesn't have every episode, the website that is. Yeah, only certain ones. I think they broke the Gen 1 into two seasons instead of just one whole season kind of thing. No. Look, gang scans. I don't think I should be going this way because that was the king of scans. No. So I think I might be kicked out again. So safari zone. Oop, wrong way. Wait, isn't the episode with the cave kid? Yeah, I think I maybe went past that. Yeah, it was the, the kid, the two parents that I passed on the way here was the two people that dropped their kid, they dropped their kid out of a helicopter. <laughs> they accidentally, like, they accidentally let him go because the father wanted him to have a closer look at the Kangaskhan. But yeah, I think this is the episode, but I think I might have missed it because I was Autopiloting through the safari zone. Whoops. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go back. So after I defeat Team Rocket, which is a little ass backwards. But yeah, this is. Because I think I just saw him. Oh, hey, have a closer look. Whoops! Yeah, that's, that's the story they tell to other people. And I know it's a, it shows a flashback of them, but... When, like... The guys... When the guys, like, Oh, yeah, I saw my son with a Kangaskhan after it fell out of a chopper. Lindbergh, baby. You never know who wins until the round ends. Of course! Okay. Who the hell are you? As he's skating in. No, if that bomb explodes with everything in the lake. Uh oh. Dragon Air? It's throwing the bomb back at Team Rocket. Here you go. This is the same Dratini. Uh, Dratini? I met all those years ago. You've grown up so well. You said the Dratini, thank you. I got a dragon scale, apparently. Sweet, thank you. Okay. As he skates off. I don't want to... I want to go in here just to see what it is. Hey, what's up, bruh? Supported by the wooden watch over the safari zone. I was taking a nap and a huge explosion. Blah, blah, blah. If you promise not to tell him, I'm going to give you a TM. Cool. You gave me a TM. Now it's time to catch that Dratini because, well, Pokemon games logic. Yeah, sometimes, um... Well, a lot of the times when you come up because I wanted to you come up against the Pokemon in the in the game and it's like you have to fight it wait what's poisoned 
You have to fight it. Oh, my Pikachu's poison. Damn it. You have to fight it. For instance, um, I think you, you might have run into this after you got to pass Vermilion City. But, I don't have an antidote. Um, but when you... Oh, I can use a full restore. No. But when you go up against... Um, when you go up against the Tentacruel. Um, before the Butterfree... The Bye Bye Butterfree episode. And you go against the, the, the Tentacruel. You can't catch the Tentacruel. No matter what. And that's probably like a good thing. Oh, there he is. Go get him. One thing that bothered the hell out of me. Why does he just keep giving away his Pokemon? Like seriously. How awesome would his team be if he would just keep the best Pokemon instead of letting them go? Um, yeah, makes sense. But there's an al also another thing of... Um, we play the game to battle and become the best Pokemon trainer of all. Of all. But if it's in the best interest of the Pokemon... Um, then maybe just ethics comes into play, you know? Like, if it's best for them to live their life to the fullest and you can't provide that, it's probably the best to let them do their own thing. You Pokemon or people. My name Tomo. I protect Kangaskhan. What? My mama and papa look for me? Mama Kangaskhan, my mama. <laughs> I have people mama too. I go see. Bye. Alright. Oh, now I can move. No! <laughs> um, let's go check if they're there. So... They were back here. Oh, here they are. Hello! I'm so happy to be with my boy again. Okay. We've decided to live here with the Kangaskhan and my boy. My, my mom is so happy. Tomo decided to stay with Mama Kangaskhan and people Mama. As thanks for help, Tomo teach Pokemon move learn from Mama Kangaskhan. What would that be? Substitute! Nah. No thank you. Okay, so. Yeah, I guess so. I I mean, I'm all of the Pokemon living happily, but I but can't they wait till the Pokemon League 20 is over? Um, true. You could just go, I want the best team available. Can you just stay with me till the end of the Pokemon League? And if we don't... Here's the thing. It's, it's like you could say, could you stay with me until I win it? And then not win it. And then they would keep staying with you. And then you may not win it at all. Oh. Oh. <laughs> God damn it. I'm an idiot. What the hell? I didn't see this tiny gap. Oh, bollocks. Okay, so I think I've done everything in the, in the safari zone. Hopefully. The warden has a violent streak. Really? He sounded like a cool, seemed like a cool guy to me. Because it's like, if you, going back to that, if you say... Um, can you stay on my team and fight with me alongside me till the Pokemon League tournament is over? Because the tournament goes every year. Um, does that mean you've got one shot and then you're just going to continue on your way? Oh, shit. Can I heal up my Pokemon, please? Yeah, just one shot. You got one shot, one opportunity. Okay, let's go check this way first. Whoops. Rugged rock. Oh, okay. So I, th I'm thinking that you might get. Well, hello. So do I. Do I like this? Yeah. It. I. I really like this. It's really awesome. It's a lot of nostalgia. Uh, 
Ash does hold a victory over Articuno in Darkrai. True, that is true. Ash has done a lot of stuff, a lot more stuff than the average, um, like the average trainer. Uh oh. But he's never won like a Pokemon League championship. Ha ha. Suckers. I'm not fighting anyone. Whoop. Can't really take that away from him. Yeah. He's also saved... If you go by the ca the Pokemon canon, he has saved the world like countless numbers of times. Like too many to count. I don't know if I was supposed to fight anyone there, but... Oops. Yay, I can keep the base go. Whoops. No, I didn't fight anyone. Like nearly every every Pokemon movie, he has saved the world. Yeah. What is canon, what isn't canon? Is this the Ditto episode? I think this is the Ditto episode. I think, maybe? That is going to be the thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, that would have to be. I'm going to go searching around the mansion first. Because I damn well know what that's going to be. Okay. I don't know if I'm running into anything at all. Like, what, any Pokemon here. Return. That was a weird noise. Uh, nothing else. Okay. Hee <laughs> hee. What's up? Hi, my name's Ash. Ha, huh, actually, I'm Duplica. Okay, that's, that's Duplica, the actual chick. I love to imitate people and Pokemon. This is the house... Imitate. Imitate. Imitate? Imitate? Bleh. Imit... I'm hoping to perfect my Ditto's transform ability. If you think Ditto's boring, then you don't know Ditto's true power! Meh! Yeah. Let's have a little match. Then you'll understand Ashy Boy. Why is she calling me Ashy Boy? Haha! <laughs> it's Ash versus Ash. Oh please, turn into War Turtle. I want you to turn into War Turtle. Yes. <laughs> you subbed to my YouTube? Oh, that's awesome. Super effective. <laughs> Sucker. Bam! Duplicate. I guess I showed you how powerful imitation. You showed me nothing. Wonderful. There's the follow. Thank you very much, Dragon Champion Alex. Just gonna probably refer to you as Alex from now on. Maybe Dragon. I don't know. Whatever I feel like. Um, yeah. I I killed you in two moves. Well, three moves technically. Um, what I really want is to be a big star. I want to put on shows with my ditto and imitate people. That's why I opened this house of Imit. Imit? Whatever. Alex, DC, DC, Alex, up to you. DC sounds actually better. Once I get it up and running, ditto and I will become world famous impersonators. Feel free to look around. Okay. Let's just have a, a little look around. Just so that, like, it might trigger other things. Because, like, sometimes it's, like, these big 
So like this room over here might be a trigger. Nope. Nope. Okay. Because sometimes it's like a story trigger after you've talked to it or you've done a certain thing. Okay, cool. Just running. Oh, what's this? Nah, nothing. What is the point of this? What is this? What's the point? I like the stream. I'll be, I'll be sure to give you a shout out next video I record. If I hadn't already recorded the entire the entire week, you'd be on tomorrow. Thanks, man. Yeah, I do tend to, with my recordings. Oh shit. My recordings, I tend to do it all in one massive chunk, kind of thing. And then streams are different as well. Your Pikachu looks exhausted. Maybe you should take it to the nearest Pokemon Center. Radio. This one? My Pikachu's exhausted. No! Oh? Your Pokemon transporting system has been down all, all day. I wish there was something I could do, but I'm sure you didn't come here to worry about that. Yes. So am I stuck with these Pokemon? I think. Thank you for waiting. You've rest uh, we've restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope you see you again. This is impossible. I created this transform machine system myself. No problem. I try to support fellow PokeTubers and Poke fans. That's awesome. I try my best to try and be a little entertaining. Maybe just a little. Uh. Um. <laughs> what? I'm gonna do this. <laughs> Save the game. Uh, let's go up. Uh, where am I going? <laughs> What is going on? <laughs> um, to the right? No. Okay. So up. This is the episode they gave all the Asian kids seizures. Yeah, and it was banned in North America. It's, it was banned everywhere else because of that. What the hell? Okay, so left. So down. So it's up and then right. I think. Or did I go right first time? <laughs> no! Go to the right. Okay, so up. Wow, this is... <laughs> this looks so weird! So it's up, down, left? So up, down, left, right. Yes! You again? You won't stop us from stealing these Pokémon. See if you can handle us this time. Go, Porygon Zero. Oh my god. That was tiring my eyes. Like, really bad. Actually, I forgot to do this. Oops. I don't have a Prime Ape in my party. I have a Diglett. I have no idea... I've never actually fought a Porygon before, like, ever. Let's try that. <laughs> it knows recover! Are you kidding? Stop it with your recover, stoof. Hopefully he just keeps hitting himself. Although he is level 40. Sharpen? Attack Rose. I've never seen Sharpen. I've never seen that move of it either. Come on, hit yourself. Yes! 
and its attack it had its attack raised and it hit itself the move after <laughs> oh damn it try attack uh oh fire lightning and ice uh oh two of those are super effective okay cool so it's like it try attack isn't effective against anything i don't know please hit yourself please hit yourself no, my war turtle. All right, whatever. Uh, let's go, Ivysaur. Actually, let's go, bro. Uh, raise the leaf. Screw it. Just win. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Yeah. <laughs> it, this feels bad. Of course it does. You've lost every single ma every single fight match. Battle? Thingy. Don't go running off just yet. This battle just begun. A vaccine was released into the programming. Looks like it's time for us to blast off to the real world. Let's transport back. Okay. You did it! You stopped the virus and saved Porygon. Now we can transfer Pokemon again. After 20 years, they finally won a match against Ash in the most recent anime. They did? I think, I think I saw that. I think I, woo. Don't even know what that is. I think I saw that plastered all over the internet. Like it was, Season 20, or like the new- the newest one, which is based in... Which is based in Sun and Moon. I don't know the- I don't know the context around it, though. Okay, here we go. Wait. Aw, oh, face my way, come on! There we go. <laughs> Smooch. It's a Jinx carrying a boot. On the inside, a picture of Santa Claus. It's the Santa episode! You're on the right path. Come with me. Santa lost his boot and his, and his Jinx a few days ago. I can take you north to meet him. Would you like to go? Hells to the yeah! You hate the new look they gave Ash? Yeah, I, I saw screenshots of it and I'm like, yeah, no thank you. What the... Oh, I mean ice. I mean snow. No, I, I, damn it. English good. And I forgot to heal my Pokemon. I'm an Egypt. Also, how often do you stream slash upload? Like to become a regular? Um, I try and stream as much as possible. I try and get at least one day of streaming. Um, oh, once, uh, I'll rephrase that. Try and, I try and do it once a day. So at least, like, seven streams. Um, but I, sometimes I take a couple of days off. But I upload to YouTube every single day. Um, whether it's the stream or it's the Nuzlocke challenge, or the Nuzlocke challenges, or the Nuzlocke challenge, which is creation of mine and my sister's. Um, and I also have like other stuff, so. YouTube, every single day, Twitch as much as possible. <laughs> Let's just say that. Um, but this is a little outside of my regular streaming time. What's your normal time? I know the difference is huge. I'm from America. I just want to make sure I'm catching you at the right time. I think it's uh, seven. I try and do it. I try and stream at least at 7 p.m. EST, uh, AEST, which would be probably early morning for you guys. So at the moment, 
Okay, world clock. So it's like mid-afternoon. So, afternoon. To clarify, it's 4.25 here. Okay. So yours is probably central time. Yeah. I try and stream... So, central time is probably at like really early morning. Um, I can try and stream later, but um, yeah, I tend to stream around probably like 4 a.m. central time. 4 a.m. to like 6 a.m. That's if I do the two hour stream. But I try and stream longer. Where am I going? <laughs> Drudging through the snow. But yeah, uh... So yeah, be... Because it was... I usually... I think I slept a little bit too long today. Oh, uh, yesterday. God damn it. Uh, I slept too long yesterday and woke up really late. Australian time. That's why I'm still up. Um, but yeah, I tend to stream early central time. Like, really early. Alright, well, I'll try to make it whenever I can. No promises, but I can't make the streams. I'll definitely watch YouTube. That'd be nice. That'd be really awesome. Um, and since you said that you subbed to my YouTube, I'll go check your one out, I think. Because you were saying that you do shoutouts and you also do other Pokemon stuff. So I'll see that you've probably subbed more recent one, recent ones and then... And then I'll go check out your stoof. Okay. Here we go. Let's continue on. Here we go. Hello! Yes. I'd like to heal my Pokemon, please. Thank you for waiting and restore the Pokemon for health. Is it bad that I actually want to see the um, banned episodes of Pokemon? Like the Porygon one, and I think there was another episode where it was banned because of the use of guns? Oh! It's wild Pikachu! Yeah, I'm doing a let's play of Pokemon Liquid Crystal ROM hack on my channel, plus top fives and stuff. Awesome! I'll go check that out when I'm done here. Well, when I have the time, because I've got uni later today. The log? Okay. <gasps> Pikachus! What's up? It's a group of wild Pikachus. Your Pikachu looks like it wants to play with them. Aww. Uh oh. Top 5 Pokemon stuff, that is. It's entirely a Pokemon channel. Yeah, I have. <laughs> my channel has. Oh no! <laughs> no. No, I don't want to give up my Pikachu. Go away. It's my Pikachu. It's my Pikachu! Yeah, my YouTube channel has become, slowly become, a Pokemon channel. Um, I do upload other stuff, but it's primarily a Pokemon channel. Oh, Hello! But an Eevee. There's, this, there's a tag on its collar that says Stone Town. I think it's the one where Misty becomes a model or something. I think it is, maybe? I think this is the one. It's an Eevee, but uh, Stone Town. Maybe you should return it. How? How? Maybe you should return it to its owner. How about it? You can't return Eevee to its owner if you don't have room for it. Damn it! Okay, I need to drop off a Pokemon. Can I? Ha! <laughs> This is uh, one of my favorite episodes of the anime. It's the Battle Brothers. Yeah. Groovy. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> He's like, I played you a song, give me food. No food? God damn it! Is this Stone Town? Yeah, Stone Town. What's up? Oh shit! Who oh, no. knew? Oh god. Sparky. He's got the jolty on. For a second there, his sprite made it look like he had a, um... There's a, a Snorlax blocking your path? Yeah. He's actually blocking the water. I don't know if there's actually an episode in the anime. But... I think... I don't know. I haven't seen... There's a lot of the anime that I can't remember off the top of my head. Whoops. Damn it! For Snorlax? I think the only episode of the Snorlax was when it was going to island to island, eating all the berries and stuff, wasn't it? It was like destroying... Destroying, like, the entire habit, like, ecosystem of islands. I can't remember. I'm more Gen 4. Yeah. Gen 4 was... That was Diamond and Pearl, wasn't it? Gen 1 is not my strong type. Yeah, it's fair enough. It's also like... Uh... Yep, there was... There's an episode where Thorns... Uh, are blocking the river, and they have to wake it up. Okay. They get the flute from the guy that was playing for food. Yeah. We'll have to go back and do that after we do the EV thingy. Okay, get rid of Growl. Gen 4, it, it also... Your favourite generation of Pokemon could be could be on like couple of factors you're gonna be the fire guy um because personally if i started playing pokemon around diamond and pearl and i started watching the anime around then that would be probably my favorite one i still love first gen but that's because i remember it so clearly from my childhood um but i still like like, I still like every generation. Yeah. I remembered... I'm a total Gen 1-er. Yeah. I remembered... One... Whoops. I remember one Christmas, my, me and my sister got Game Boy Pockets for Christmas. It wasn't a Game Boy, it was a smaller version of a Game Boy, um, but it wasn't a Game, Game Boy Color. And we got Super Mario World 2, and we got Red and Blue, and we played the hell out of it. Like, we played Red and Blue so much. Although, when I say I played Red and Blue so much, I played the first three gyms so much, and then forgot what I, what I was doing, or the game got a little bit... Whoop, got a little bit too complicated for me, so I went, I'm starting again! <laughs> The Game Boy Pocket, oh my god, I completely forgot about those. I also had both games in Super Mario Land 2. Do you remember what starter did you pick? I... I think I tried all three of them. But my favourite starter... Would have to have been... It would have to have been... Charmander. Just because, like... Charizard, massive dragon Pokemon. 
Dang it. Massive dragon Pokemon. And I also wanted to differentiate because my sister kept choosing Squirtle over and over and over and over and over and over again. So I'm like, I don't want what she has. I want something different and cool like a dragon. It was also the days of like, you know, Power Rangers and all that kind of stuff where like the dragons and all that kind of, the like dinosaurs and stuff. I'm like your Australian counterpart. I mean, from everything that we, that we, that we've said here, um, actually, yeah, sounds like it. Turtles beat dragons? Yeah. At the moment, can I like, oh wow, do I have to go through the forest? Wow, okay. Turtles beat dragons. Be an interesting little thing. Because I'm like thinking real word, like in game terms, yes. Blastoise would defeat, um, would defeat Charizard. But I'm just thinking is like, is like mythological terms. Same age, same Gen 1 memories, same starter Pokemon. Yeah. Well... <laughs> I think it's also like... I think the age demographic... Because we were really young at the time and we're like, Yay! Cool things! Dragon! Kill stuff! Where like the older... the older... Like children... Or the older gamers would have like thought long and hard about what they got and then some people just went Blastoise. Not if Ash Ash's Charizard is facing Gary's Blastoise, just saying. I can't remember what happened there. Did Charizard Did Charizard beat Blastoise? I forgot. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Well, time to go back and get the Eevee. Gary's Blastoise lost? Well... You could also say that, like... One... Well, actually, you can't really say that because Charizard... Ignored Ash's commands... Nearly all the time. So... He wouldn't have actually won any... He wouldn't have gotten... Well, in game terms. He wouldn't have gotten any XP... From that. Oh, why did I do that again? He wouldn't have gotten any XP from that. Um, and where Gary had Blastoise from Wonderful. the start. Thanks for the follow, Marcus. Um, he wouldn't. He would have had Blastoise from the start, so he would have used it more often. Uh, go away, go away. Don't want to use. It. Um. So like Charizard would probably be. Under level compared to that. Although, if you think about it, Ash's Charizard might be the best Pokemon in the anime when they faced off in the Silver League when Charizard beats Blastoise. Charizard obeys commands. I think Charizard started obeying Ash's commands after. I think it was after or before. There was a certain episode. Where Charizard was like on the verge of actually dying. And Ash was like trying his best to save him. And then he gained Ash's trust. Um, but yeah, in game terms. You would also think that Gary in the anime was known for switching out his Pokemon and catching a shit ton of them. Swapping out his Pokemon... To better face what he's going on to face. So, Blastoise might not have been always in his party. He might not always been fighting. So, he, he might be under level 2. Have the Eevee. I could have kept Eevee. Interesting. But yeah, it's... Oh, shit. 
No! <laughs> oh no. I have more temptation. Damn it. I already sold the Thunderstone that I got from Vermilion. In Cannon Skirtle was his starter though. So I'm assuming he would have... Um, he would have him around for the most part. That is true. He would have him around... For most of his journey. But here's, here's the thing. I don't think he would use him at the Blastoise or Squirtle at all. During... For instance, the um, Lieutenant Surge fight or the Erica fight. Maybe for Sabrina fight, but I don't think he fought Sabrina. Um, Koga fight, probably not because of Poison Bug. And probably yes against the last two. Which is Blaine and Giovanni. But then, didn't Gary lose against Giovanni? Yeah, I think Gary lost against Giovanni. He probably had to get a a badge somewhere else. No! Yes. My cannon is mixing up in my head. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure that Gary came was the first one of versus Giovanni in the gym when Giovanni had Mewtwo. That's the one. Uh, my crops were all dried up. I gotta go have a have a good rest of the stream. All right, I'll see you another time, DC. Um, I'll go check out your YouTube when I have time. Thanks for coming around. Can't wait to start watching your channel. Yeah. It's awesome. Oh, hello, circus. I'm gonna go this way first. Dark City. Yay! Did he just. Did she just smack him one? Get back in the house right now! What if there are Pokemon trainers out? Oh god. Door's locked. Have they locked the door on me? Oh no. What the shit? You're a Pokemon trainer, right? We don't care who you are. If you work with Pokemon, you better get out of town now. What the hell? They're bullying me because I'm a Pokemon trainer. Come on. Let me in. What does it say? Dark City Diner. Oh, I can go in here. What's up, bruh? You're a Pokemon trainer. Try not to take offense to our townspeople. They're simply afraid of trainers. Please let me explain. In Dark City, there are two Pokemon gyms. The Yas Gym and the Kaas Gym. <laughs> the two gyms are in the middle of a gang war and will hire wandering Pokemon trainers as soldiers to help them battle. They claim that, they're, that whatever gym wins will become an official Pokemon gym. Give us lunch of 30 people? We have to be at the Kaas Gym in less than an hour. What, you haven't paid our tab? Huh? The twerp! Uh-oh. Bring it on! Wait. I did not heal. No! Bugger! Buggeration. Nine levels above me. Uh-oh. Meh. Can I bite him back? I want to bite him back. Bite you back. Yeah. Did water pools do more damage? I don't know. Uh oh. If he hit me, hits me once, I'm probably dead. Yes! He's confused! Please stay confused or hit yourself. Yay! Mwahaha! <laughs> Whoop. No! Asshole. Oh. Get him! Get him! Let's bite his ass. Although... Glare. Okay. No, he looked at me! 
It'd be interesting to... I'm not even, I might not... Okay, I'm just going to finish that thought. It'd be interesting to try and find where the actual arse on an Arbok is. Because then you can find out where the body ends and the tail... The, where the body ends and the tail begins. Interesting fun fact. The snake's tail actually starts after the arse. <laughs> Oh, Dale! Poison gas. No. Okay, after this, I want to run back to the Pokemon Center because there's no goddamn Pokemon Centers nearby. Nailed it. Wait, what poke? Oh, yeah! I'm like thinking, what Pokemon did I switch out? But it was my Charmeleon. Thanks for saving my restaurant. No problem, bruh. All right, let's go south. This is going to be interesting to look at. Not really, but. Is there a Pokemon Center this way? I'm gonna check this way. Nope. Come on. Damn it, wrong way! <laughs> it's a dead end! I wonder how long Pikachu will last. It's gonna be interesting. Oh, Pikachu fainted. <laughs> right in front of the. <laughs> right in front of his Pikachu brethren. No. What a world! Oh, that's no problem, Marcus. Here we go. So I'm gonna get out of... Here's the thing. I probably want my... I want... I want the Charizard. But I can't use... I really wanted my Primate. Just on PS. I want to use my Char Charmeleon to... Yeah, I'm... I really wanted to use my Charmeleon to go Charizard. But he won't listen to me. So he won't... Be useful at all until like maybe a plot point because I think that's what happened with Primate because Primate won't listen to me until a plot point and that was probably the fighting gym thing but with the Charizard it's gonna be something different that's if I get him to a Charizard in time Oop, wrong way So, this is going to be an uphill battle. <laughs> I'm going to have no fire type. Okay, this way. Go down, get up. I love, I love having running shoes. Playing first gen again. Hello. Oh my god. <laughs> I could have healed my Pokemon there. No. Okay. The Yas gym and the Cast gym. Go to the Yas first. What's up, bruh? I heard how you defeated the Cast bodyguards. Like they were nothing. You must work for me, I need your strength. What? You won't join us? If you won't join us, then I'll make sure you don't join anybody else! Yeah, with Charizard, you need to go to the Orange Islands and die to a Poliwrath. God damn! Well, that sucks. Uh, the Orange Islands are after... So, after the entire game. Lit literally. When did Ash get a Diglett? Uh, surprise! <laughs> he got into the Diglett cave. It was off air. Wink, wink. There was one Diglett that was that liked Ash so much that he's like, I need to go in your party, and then Ash never brought him out on air. 
That's how, uh, that's how Charizard started to listen. Uh, although if I go to cannon, I have to use Charizard against Magma. It's going to be annoying. Because he's probably going to die to him. Although it would be interesting if Charizard decided to use different moves that I'm telling him to do. Like if I told him to use Flamethrower, he's like, No, I'm going to use Seismic Toss. I'm like, what? Like, what the hell? Cool. I beat your Scyther. This isn't over Yas Gym. Attack. No, what? What's going on? Are they just all fighting me? Oh. Interesting. They're like, all fighting me at the same time. But they're sending one Pokemon at, at a time. So it's like one trainer, then second trainer, then third trainer, but they've compacted into one fight. <laughs> Suck it! Let's go Pidgeotto. I can't believe that my Pidgeotto is my highest level again. Then we're sent... To the, pl uh, to the place with all the Charizard when they brought back in Unova. I, did he, was he actually, was Charizard brought back in Unova? In the, well, the black and white series. That's actually awesome. Oh yeah, he did say, yeah, he did leave. I think it was in the Orange Islands? I gotta watch more more of the episodes again. Nice Diglett. Machoke. No. Cause I don't I don't know how far I don't know how far Whoop! I'm dead. No, it was the start of Johto, I think. Okay. I mean, as I've said, it's no longer on Netflix, but I remember that Ash at least had a flashback of Charizard. I think that show has a lot of flashbacks. But not as much as most animes. But, um... Yeah, I've really got to get back into watching all the Pokemon again. I just, I need to go on a Pokemon marathon. That's what I'm saying. Don't die, Pikachu. Hey, he's got 69 health. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going... Um, I'm going to try and watch it. Various, through various means. True... Anime, anime protags are known for living in the past. Yeah. Although, I do... He's... I have watched nearly all of the Naruto series. So I've got like 20 episodes left in Shippuden to go, but that has entire flashback arcs. Charizard would be back in Unova because I remember when Iris... I uh, thought it was a dragon type. Yeah. This is identical. Iris was the one with, if I'm remembering correctly, was with, is the dragon type chick who had, I don't know if she was a trainer or breeder or like, she wanted to just get along with, I screwed up. Wanted to get along with the dragons. But she didn't, didn't she have an uh, an Axew with her as well? I think she had an Ax uh, uh, Axew. Sorry. Well, it's Mega Form is well one of them. Yeah. I think it was. It's the black one that the black Charizard that has. Um, that's Dragon. Axew and Dragon Master Trainee. Yeah, that's the one.
Please live. I'm probably dead for this. Yeah, as I haven't watched too many of the series after after Johto. I'm gonna get back into the swing of things. Just so I have all my Pokemon knowledge down. Oh, light screen, no! I think, I think, um, when I had X and Y, I think I got the mega form of Charizard that was the, f that was still the fire flying one, I believe. Uh, actually, let's get rid of Sand Attack, because it does the same thing as Sand Attack, but does damage. When you try and speed run with Pidgey and get one shot by Brock. Yeah. When I first saw Indigo League on Netflix, it was on it on, went to Charizard Chills. I think technically Charizard Chills is the last episode of the Indigo League. Cause I think the Indigo League is the first season, right? And I think the second season is the second half of, if I'm not mistaken. Because I looked this up before, like, on the actual website, like, the, the Pokemon website where they're actually viewing it for free. It had the first season, but it didn't go all the way through the initial, air quote, season or area. Nothing about that. Go get him, Nurse Joy! If you're with Jim again, of course we are. Your question, what's your favorite Pokemon type? Ooh, that's an interesting question. Um, whew. I don't know. I actually really don't know what my favorite type is. Um, I have no clue. I love, I like fire types, but they're not my favorite. Like, I like every every type. Fairy, it slays dragon. Yeah. Um, yeah, I... I love specific Pokemon. Like, in each gen, I have probably my top five favorite Pokemon. But they're all different types. So, I, like, in X and Y, which is sixth gen... I think. I love Greninja. Greninja's my shit. Um, and then the most recent gen, I love... I can't remember what he's actually called. It's the, the ghost grass type owl thing that looks badass. I can't remember what he's called. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Whoops. Um... But yeah, I love dragon types. I love ground types. I love all of them. Okay, different question. What type would you would be your gym? Hmm. Let's go through the... I'm just going to go through the Pokedex, shall I? So. Um. I wouldn't... I wouldn't be bug. I'm just saying that. Executor squad. Nice. I wouldn't be bug. I wouldn't... I wouldn't want to be ground or rock. That's just my preference. Um, grass. Eh, yeah, or maybe not. Psychic, maybe, but there's too few of them. Like, fire, water, or electric. Like... <sighs> it's really... I have no clue. Like... I keep saying like, 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 like. I'm just thinking every single gym, what would I like to be? 
Although, I know that I probably won't be Ghost because I'm too much of a pussy. Um... I think... Mine would be dark. No wait, dark type gems are not allowed. They're not allowed? I think... Wasn't there... No, that was a ghost type, I think. What about dark? Or are we staying gen 1? Yeah, that'd be an interesting, like... Whether, like, fairy's still included, or dark, or steel. Um... I think I'll either have to go... Either electric or fire. Like, one of those two. Oh yeah, it was... Yeah, either electric or fire would have to be my pick. For my gen. I'm just trying to remember... Like, what... what other things they were, because I wouldn't be psychic, wouldn't be dark, wouldn't be... I'm just trying to, like, pick out what Pokemon type I wouldn't be. What would be in your gym and what theme? I think... probably, just personally, um... Because, um, at the moment I'm doing a, um, I'm doing a live production course, which is like, you know, lighting and music and all that kind of stuff. It would be like a nightclub slash live performance setting, but with like electrical Pokemon and all that kind of stuff. That would be interesting. Like, that would be, like... For me, that would be a cool theme. Because, like, you'd have, like... Like, just just think of, the like, the old school, like, discotheque. Like, disco dance floor with the flashing lights and all that kind of stuff. And the overhead lights and the music and shit in the background. And just have electric-type Pokemon. Like, that would be cool. Because then you, then you could have a gym anywhere. What type of Pokemon would I want in it? Here's the thing. Could it be to a theme? Or is it just to a type? Because if you went to a theme, technically you could have, like, Hitmon Top. Because... Like, because it's a, it's a discotheque, dance club kind of thing, you'd have him on top, and he would represent, like, a breakdancer kind of thing. And then you could have, like, Wigglytuff, Wigglytuff and Jigglypuff for, like, the singing kind of thing. You could go Pokemon Insurgents and have a theme. What are those marks on... Oh, sh... I have no clue what those marks on his cheeks are. Like, I don't know. Birthmarks or something? Maybe he was destined to have a Pikachu from the start because he had lightning bolts below his, like, on his cheeks. He was destined to, to meet up with Pikachu. And it also has, like, symbolism because... He's got the lightning bolt on his cheeks, and Pikachu creates lightning from his che from the the red dots on his on his cheeks, from his electric sacks. I think it's the Japanese blush in anime. True. It was made in a different time. Uh, well, when I say a different time, I mean nowadays. 
nowadays animation is different to like previous so um i think nowadays it has like the thick black border outlines to most of the animation and stuff like that and they actually have like th thick blush and all that kind of stuff and it also oh, I got healed again um it also goes to like the their things i have no clue what the the marks under their eyes could be blush could be birthmarks could be their hands slipped when they were drawing ash like, there are several questions that can go through the mind. Send out Gloom. Okay. Let's go. Wing attack. I think it also could be the marks underneath. Um, it could be, like, underneath Ash's eyes to give... A sense of this is the top of the cheek kind of thing like to give like depth of his face instead of just a flat 2d image or he could just or it could just be dirt you gotta look I gotta look that stuff up Because you can, like, you can retcon anything in, in like, anime and cartoons and everything just to be, oh yeah, it's this. And the only person who says that that is actually the way. Images say that Voldemort tried to kill Ash twice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. That is... That's good. Please don't leave me. You have a lightning bolt when Voldemort tries to kill you. Yeah. Oh, sorry about the show. I started. Help me out with you. I need the assistance. The act. Mel Melvin's the name. Yes. Oh, I'm on. Hang on. What is going on? I can't move. Oh, there we go. Cutscene. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Melvin, the Magnificent Magician. I think it was a magician. Oh, the, ma the Magician Magnificent. What? My kit will do some great magic tricks that will surmise... Some maze and apprise you. What? Can I sit in the front row? Nope. I have to go up and help him. What's up, bruh? I was my lovely assistant. I didn't hear he didn't call me up. Let me show you how executes hypnosis works. Ash seems to be greatly affected by it. Uh, travel to the west to Route 12 and capture an executor for me. That would really spice up my act. Damn it. Have I uh, have I seen Pokemon Bridged? It's hilarious. Yeah, I have I've seen I've seen it's really good. Like I Um I actually started watching Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged and then I watched Pokemon Abridged and then Dragon Ball Z Abridged and I watched like all the abridged stuff. Oh like at first, I thought the abridged series, in a, as a whole, was like, eh, it's just random people making bad jokes. But then I started watching it, I'm like, they're actually pretty good jokes. Like a couple of episodes in, they started getting good. Yeah, I've, I think I'm all caught up in the Pokemon bridged. Well, you got the b -b 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 battle, and the the Brock's breeding. Mm. 
<laughs> and the crazy Misty. I just, I just love it so much. I quote, I quote it with my friends as well. Like we all, we all watched the Abridged series. Mo like we all watched the Abridged series, like apart away from each other, but we actually quoted a, a shit ton. Pidgey? A level 26 Pidgey? What? Early on, Ash lost Pikachu like every episode. Yeah. I just love that Pikachu is like a pyromaniac in the Brid Bridge series. It's funny. Just grabbing the actual character and just flipping the character on their head to make them like ridiculously stupid. Yay! Now Ash has a dog trio. Wants to learn Sand Tomb. Thirty-five eighty-five. Nah. All right. Um. Oh, I have been streaming for three hours, which is an hour longer than I thought I would. So, not to mention, after season one, Pikachu has an army on speed dial. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I've been streaming for an hour longer than I, uh, was going to. I'm going to save it here. But, uh, it's been a good stream. I will be probably back either tomorrow morning or tomorrow night. And, uh, thanks for coming out. If you want to know when I'm going live or... Go to the YouTube and stuff like that. Um, so yeah. I'll be putting this up on YouTube as well. So if you want to watch from the start all the way to here or you want to watch the previous ones, go ahead and go there. And thanks for coming out. Um, thanks for talking in the chat. And I will catch you guys uh, another time. See you.